The only legend I have ever loved is the story of a daughter lost in hell and found and rescued there. These are lines of a poem by Evan Boland. This poem refers to the imagery of Persephone descending to Hades and eating pomegranate seeds offered by Hades, thus being made captive in the underworld because of eating the food of the underworld. Her mother did bring Persephone back out of Hades, at least for half the year. When I read these lines, I think of you. You may find yourself in hell, but you are in the process of your own rescue. The color red is associated with the root chakra, Muladhara. Therefore, including various red foods on your plate can help to activate and heal the root chakra. In this video, I want to spotlight the pomegranate. When you hold a pomegranate, you hold the sacred history of the world. Talk about roots, as in root chakra. The pomegranate is one of the most ancient fruits, and its appearance and cultivation haven't changed much for thousands of years. Most ancient cultures, and still today some modern ones, including Iran and Armenia, have drawn deep life symbolism from the pomegranate. The pomegranate is holy, you might find a blessing if you were inclined to study the world's past in light of the pomegranate. There is rarely an old story in a wide variety of cultures that doesn't include the pomegranate, including Adam and Eve's story in Genesis. It is understood by some that the tree of life is the pomegranate tree, and the fruit that was partaken was the pomegranate. Think about the seed of a pomegranate. It has both soft and sweet and hard and bitter. Why would the eater be willing to eat the hard and bitter part? Because the sweet part is so exquisite as to overcome the bitter. What a lesson! The outer casing of the pomegranate protects and hides the bounties inside. This made it a perfect fruit for ancient travelers as it kept well for a long time and quenched thirst. It takes some doing to get at the treasure because of the tough skin. You have to want it and work for it. But, mmm, it's worth it. Do you know why royalty wear crowns? Because the first pomegranate wore this crown. Ancient royalty, wishing to associate themselves with the holiness and abundance of the pomegranate, copied the pomegranate's crown. The tradition stuck even after people forgot why. The redness of the juice, as well as the way it flows, was a reminder of blood. The pomegranate seems to be able to be wounded and bleed, as humans do. And blood is also a root chakra association. Since blood was understood to be life, the pomegranate also shared that symbolism. Speaking of sharing, the pomegranate was understood to be a fruit meant to be shared. You don't eat a pomegranate by yourself. You break it open and give pieces to nearby family and friends. What a wonderful idea to ponder. These are just a few of the endless beautiful teachings that can be gathered from pondering and enjoying the pom pomegranate and its place in the sacred cultural history of the world. Teachings worth reclaiming in your life at this time. I invite you to include pomegranates often in what you choose to eat. Eating itself is meant to be sacred. We are meant to understand what we put in our bodies. Our foods have meaning deeper than their nutritional profile. Meals are meant to be times of holiness and community. Enjoy pomegranate juice mixed with orange or tangerine juice. Find your favorite high-quality dark chocolate bar and melt the chocolate in a double boiler. Fold in pomegranate seeds and pour the melted chocolate pomegranate mix onto wax paper and let it cool and then eat. Add pomegranate seeds to yogurt, oatmeal, infuse it with water, salads. Add pomegranate juice to coconut milk for a refreshing beverage. The ancient Persian poet Rumi wrote a passage called The Laughter of Pomegranates. 
Here is a portion of it. A laughing pomegranate brings the whole garden to life. Whether you are stone or marble, you will become a jewel. Don't give your heart to anything but the love of those whose hearts are glad. Don't go to the neighborhood of despair. There is hope. Don't go in the direction of darkness. Suns exist. Suns exist.